Before you begin greasing the chuck jaws, activate the e-stop on the lathe and place a small piece of plywood or a few sheets of cardboard under the chuck body with a few oily rags on top to catch the vice jaws. Put on a pair of nitrile gloves found in the safety cabinet or on the shop maintenance cart to protect your hands. Note that each jaw is stamped with a number, one, two, or three, and corresponding numbers are stamped on the chuck body. Open the jaws until they are released and fall from the chuck body. Jaw number three will release first, followed by jaw number two, and finally jaw one. Once all the jaws have been removed, wipe any chips or other debris off of the jaws. Leaving the old grease in the jaws won't hurt anything. Use a Q-tip from the safety cabinet to clean chips or other debris off the scroll inside the body of the chuck by rotating the chuck pinion with the chuck key. Leaving the old grease on the scroll won't hurt anything. Using the Kendall Super Blue Grease and a Q-tip, apply a healthy coating of grease to the scroll of the chuck and also the flat surfaces that each jaw slides on. Repeat this process for each chuck jaw. Begin reinstalling the jaws by placing jaw number one into chuck position one while it is in the 12 o'clock position. Rotate the scroll clockwise until the jaw falls into position, then rotate the scroll a few degrees counterclockwise to capture the jaw. Install jaw number two into chuck position two while it is also rotated to the 12 o'clock position. Rotate the scroll counterclockwise to capture jaw number two. Repeat this process for jaw number three in chuck position three. If the jaws are installed properly, they should simultaneously close on the center of the chuck. Wipe off any excess grease from the outside of the chuck body so it doesn't get on anyone's hands when they use the lathe. As a final check to ensure the jaws have been installed properly, lightly clamp the shank of a large end mill and measure the runout. When finished, wax all exterior surfaces of the chuck and chuck jaws and re-energize the e-stop circuit.